Welcome to Mud and Blood. The cult classic flash strategy game is back with a vengeance, and this time you are on the offensive. This is a brutal real-time strategy game set in World War II, where you command a small squad of soldiers against impossible odds in a procedural and unforgiving battlefield. This award-winning and time-proven firefight simulator, as imagined by a solo dev and its admirable community, this cult classic has technically been under development for over 12 years. What's up everybody and welcome to the Mill Sim Tax Shooter and Historic Gaming Channel where we give away a Steam key to one of our lucky viewers at the end of the week, every week. Today boys, I have something for you a little different than usual, yet at the same time very fitting. What you are looking at is the newest iteration of Mud and Blood. I guess you could call it Mud and Blood 3. It's been around for so long since I was a wee little boy actually. Some of you may remember the Flash Player, where you can play video games on your web browser. And there were a lot of websites like Ebombs World or Newgrounds. Newgrounds was huge back in the day. Every kid, every young adult went there to watch cartoons, play games, and all of it was sort of kind of edgy. A lot of the stuff that got popular there even showed up in South Park, like the gerbil down the tube. Yeah, we're not going to go into that one. Now, some of you never even heard of the Flash Player, as it was pretty much abandoned years and years ago. It's not used anymore. Taking along with it many beloved communities and games, such as Mud and Blood here. This game has a cult following, to say the least. And the single dev, knowing this, brought it back to life, creating his own engine and posting the game on Steam. And good news for us, we have a few copies to give away to our viewers. If you're new around here, just stay tuned. I'm going to give you details on how to enter the giveaway later on in the video. Now, being that this single developer wanted to bring his game back that was built on the Flash engine, he had to basically rewrite his entire engine. In doing so, he improved what would be considered Flash greatly. As you can see in this little demo, he's got like over a hundred little NPCs moving to a random location with every mouse click. Now, this would make the little Flash engine explode inside your computer if it was running on Flash. Kind of like Nintendo, only so many sprites can be moving around the screen at once. So bringing Mud and Blood into modern times, not only do we get to experience this cult classic, but a much improved version of it. There's now a campaign with only 300 missions, each mission with an average playtime of about 20 minutes. So tons of content right there. And the classic Mud and Blood gameplay, which is basically wave after wave. Now, I don't think I get to wave 10, but I've heard people get to wave 300, where there's things that happen like a super wave, and it's just, you know, so many tiger tanks, and so many artillery strikes, and massive blitzkrieg. They even had a name for it. it OMFG something something else. I don't know, apparently this wave is almost impossible to defeat. But let me slow down, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Let's go over the mechanics of the game. Infinite tactical possibilities across miles of procedurally generated terrain from the beaches of Normandy to Berlin. Lead your squad the way you want with a selection of 12 classes, from light infantry flankers to heavy gunners. There's over 600 lines of original voice acting. Call in off-map support to obliterate your enemies such as airstrikes, artillery, and armor. In fact, the recent update makes the armor you call in controllable by you. Hat tracks to Stuarts, to Shermans. Entirely destructible and flammable environments littered with empty shells, blood, and destroyed objects. True and gritty tactical combat mechanics designed by a war veteran. Use fire and movement between concealment and cover. Manage the psychological effects of casualties and incoming fire. <laughs> Fair warning, this game is not for people wanting a casual experience. This is an overhead, tactical RTS, roguelike strategy game developed by the man, the myth, the legend, Herb. 
This is a game that'll push you to your limits and give you exactly no sympathy when doing so. Hell, sometimes even your absolute best won't be enough, but that's what the next match is for. Tell your guys where to go and try to keep your cool as the odds are stacked overwhelmingly against you. Against an enemy that has absolutely no qualms with putting all six of your dudes six feet under as fast and as dirtily as they possibly can. Mud and Blood is a work of love by the developer and the community alike. This is one of those games where the community is as responsible for the state of the game as the developer himself. Visit their Discord or any forum, and you'll see I'm not joking when I say this is like a tight-knit family. And the game is continually being updated. It's still under development. They plan on adding extra scenarios like Operation Market Garden, more commander skills, more enemy units, vehicles. There's going to be advanced vehicle combat and damage mechanics. All right, we got a postscriptum vehicle system just in a 2D flash. <laughs> He's continuing to improve the AI. And like I said before, there's already a full allied campaign where you're marching literally from Omaha, going through all the different biomes, the Ardennes, Hurtgen Forest, all the way to Berlin itself. It'll include 333 days of combat over procedurally generated Europe. About 120 hours of playtime if you play the entire campaign. When you get done with that, you can play the classic Mud and Blood mode, which is a wave mode that apparently no one's beaten. There's 50 battle conditions or mutators, 20 commander abilities, 42 different ribbons you can earn, 31 infantry weapons, and what's cool is the new system, you can attach any weapon to any class. For instance, uh... Sniper could pick up a flamethrower if he wanted. There's three tiers of enemy infantry with 19 specialties. There's also more than 10 vehicles and more on the way. Now, there is a free demo on Steam if you want to check it out. And believe you me, you'll definitely have to learn a little bit if you even want to beat the demo. The demo is tough as nails. The full version right now on Steam is 12 American dollars. And like I said, the dev gave me a few keys to give away to our lucky viewers. So for those of you that enter the giveaways, Mud and Blood is now available, as well as Easy Red 2 and Space Marine Game Key. On that note, let's go ahead and wrap her up. Shoot, we might even make this video under 10 minutes. Woohoo, it's a record. Definitely give the demo a shot, guys. Check this game out. If you're into RTS or roguelike, it might be right up your alley. In the wave mode, freaking pure mayhem. I mean, I'm not good enough to get to level freaking 10. But in the background here is the developer's gameplay. He knows this game pretty well, clearly. I believe this is only wave 80 or so. And I know there's guys out there that have been up to wave 300. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Flash is back, baby. Who'd have thunked it? We do a giveaway every week. Pretty much the last video I make of every week, I randomly announce a winner. So if you watch the videos, consider entering. All you gotta do is like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, of course. Join us in Discord, the Boogie 5 Gaming Etc. Discord. It's linked below in the description. And drop a comment. Say whatever you want, but leave your Discord name and number. That's gonna be your ticket stub. Also, if you're a veteran of Mud and Blood, give us some tips in the comment. When I get my first level up or whatever you call it, I tend to do officer. Should I go gunner first? I don't know, there's so many nuances about this game. If you guys played it before, definitely hit the comments up. Give us a little synopsis, if you will. I want to give a special shout out to my channel members, the Millsimp Minions. We got three tiers of membership, Millsimp, Millsimper, and Millsimpist. Yeah, I'm that tacky. Consider joining the ranks by hitting the blue button down below. Get all the exclusive perks and content. And every tier gets double the entry on every week's Steam Key giveaway. That's right. It's the only way to double your chances in every week's Steam Key giveaway. 25 cents a week could help you earn 20, 40 dollar games. We usually get Hell Let Loose, Postscriptum, Beyond the Wire. We get some good games coming through every once in a while. Again, I want to thank everybody for watching. Everybody who subscribed. We just barreled through 2,000 subscribers. You guys are the real MVPs. Thank you so much. I'll see you boys in the next one. Y'all be good to each other.